This is one of those videos I would typically never find myself doing, but after checking out what this docking station can do, especially when paired with the PS5 or Xbox Series consoles, my mind was completely changed. I've truly never encountered a device quite like this one before. Let me show you what it's about. In the box, you're gonna get a quick start and setup guide, an HDMI 2.1 cable, a super speed USB 3.2 cable, a power cable, and of course the DP1310 hybrid docking station from BenQ. This device has a starting price of $299 and works with practically any computer's operating system under the sun. That means Windows, Mac, Linux, Chrome OS, you name it, this thing can work with it. If we look at the back of the device, starting on the right hand side, you can see that we have a port to supply power to the docking station. To the left of that, you have a USB-C port, which can connect the docking station to your computer. Next to that, you have your HDMI 2.1 out port. So depending on the display that you have connected to this specific port, this is what you're gonna be able to switch back and forth, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. To the left of that, you have your HDMI 2.1 in port for your PS5, Xbox, or your secondary PC. You also get one regular HDMI 2.0 port, and then above that is the display port. Next to that, we have a gigabit ethernet port, along with three USB-A ports with the one under the LAN connector having a 10 gigabit transfer speed. On the front of the device, you have two additional 10 gigabit USB-A ports, a USB-C 10 gig port, and also a 3.5 millimeter audio port. All of these ports together, if you decide to max it out and do a triple display setup using the HDMI 2.1 port, you can output up to an 8K 60 hertz resolution or 4K 120 hertz if you're using a dual display setup directly with this docking station. So with that said, how do we get this all to work with our setup? Well, the first thing you're gonna need to do is download the drivers for your respective operating system. This is extremely important to do because if you don't do it, then the hybrid docking station will not work as it's supposed to. For my setup, I had three total monitors that I wanted to make work overall with my computer setup, but I still wanted to use 4K 120. So in that case, I connected my mobile monitor to the hybrid docking station and then my regular monitor to the single HDMI port on my computer to act as my primary display. To get the 4K 120 resolution to work on my Mobius EX3 3210U monitor, I plugged in one of my HDMI 2.1 cables from my PlayStation 5 into the HDMI in slot of the hybrid docking station. From there, I used a second HDMI 2.1 cable to plug into the HDMI out slot of the hybrid docking station to attach to the BenQ monitor. After doing that, I could connect the USB-C cable to the hybrid docking station and then plug the other end into my computer. But in order for it to all work, we gotta turn it on. To do that, all you need to do is hold the green button for just a couple seconds and the docking station will power on. You'll see the light turn blue, meaning the connection is established. And you should see all of your monitors that are connected to your computer and the docking station working as intended in their set resolution. But now what if we want a game on that BenQ Mobius HDMI 2.1 monitor through the PlayStation 5. Well, in that case, all you need to do is tap the green button and the indicator should turn green, meaning you've switched the input from your computer to the console instead. The input change should happen almost right away and you'll see your game pop up on the screen that you initially had your computer on. And you'll see that the quality, latency, none of that is affected. I'm still playing in full 4K, 120 Hertz, through the PlayStation 5, even though this monitor is connected to the docking station. If you're ready to stop playing your game, you can turn your console off or put it in the rest mode and then just tap the green button again and then the indicator should turn back to blue and that means your computer is reconnected as the input for the docking station. I kind of wish it did have an SD card slot though just for a little bit more flexibility with what you could do with the device but that's not the end of the world. I absolutely love the build quality of this thing as you have rubber bottoms and rubber sides so that way the docking station is always stable no matter if you set it up right side or flat. But by a long shot I I gotta say my favorite feature is definitely being able to switch from the game 
to the computer on the same monitor. That just opens up my setup so much more as I'm not just having a dead monitor essentially because I don't want to switch the cables manually. This docking station at the single click of a button is able to make my gaming monitor so much more versatile. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Watch this video here if you want to see what the BenQ Mobius ex 3210 u HDMI 2.1 monitor is all about. And I gotta give a big thanks to BenQ for sending these devices to me. These videos wouldn't be possible without you. So appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys. Peace.